Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is of me playing a rapid game where I try and explain all of my moves and the thought process behind them and then after that I also do a detailed analysis where I go through the key moments and try and reflect on my mistakes. So I hope you guys enjoy and maybe learn something as well. All right, am I going to find a match? I'm still searching. Oh, no, I got matched. All right, so they're going d4. I'm gonna go knight f6. Doesn't matter, if he's watching the stream, maybe he's gonna learn something. Cause I'm gonna play instructive chess. He's gonna learn something. All right. So they're going for this knight c3, Jabava, London situation, or whatever this is gonna become. I play d5 here. I just play, um, I always play knight f6 against d4. And then after knight c3, I go for d5. Just taking control of the center. Sometimes they like to play this, but you can just go takes takes. That's not too threatening. Other times they'll go for bishop f4 with trying to attack this c7 pawn. So you have to make sure you do something like c6. So yeah, <laughs> goes for bishop f4. And there's a lot of there's a lot of ideas with this where they want to go knight b5 and they want to target c7. So you have to be careful that you don't fall into any of these traps. So I'm just going to play c6 nice and early and stop their knight from coming in this way. Okay, so they go e3 here, reinforcing their bishy. I might want to develop my light square bishop out. Don't know if this is the right time though. I think it should be because there's no like queen b3 stuff. I'm going to develop my light square bishop, bring it out to f5. Maybe just h6 here, so with knight here. And with my bishop pair, I can just go back to the square on h7. I go h6. Okay, so here they want to trade bishops. I might just allow them to. I mean, they usually want to use their light square bishop to attack me anyway, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Bring our knight to d7. Maybe play e6. Yeah, true. There's never going to be three with Javava because... Well, now there could be, but yeah. Now that they've taken their figures in the second c3. Maybe I try and get rid of their dark square bishop. Just checking that there's not really many tactics or anything. Yeah, I'm going knight h5 here to attack the bishop. And basically the, this is just because there's nowhere that they can go where their bishop's going to be safe. And then I'm the only one with a bishop left on the board. So that's the... That's nice. And yeah, I might just take here. Sometimes it can be scary to take this bishop if they've got a rook on the h file, but they don't, so I'm going to take. Then I'll probably bring my knight to f6 here. They're probably going to put their knight on e5, and I'll play like e6. Yeah, they want to get a strong knight in the middle of the board. I'm just going to be unbothered for now. Play bishop e7 and castle. They've kind of just got this huge pawn clump in the middle. They've got two sets of double pawns. They also don't have a bishop, so that's what we're happy about. But other than that, nothing too crazy happening here. So I might go rook here just to line it up with their rook and then play like b6. Yeah, they've got a huge clump of pawns. This looks like a clumpy clump of pawns if I've ever seen one. I might just take, I mean not take, push, push, word. But if I push, no, I can't push because then... This is gonna be hanging. So maybe just queen. Yeah, I'll bring the queen out to b6. Yes, that is true. If I try and kick them away, and I think they can just attack my queen with something like knight b7, and then they're double attacking my pawn on c6 with this rook and knight, so maybe that will be annoying. So we're just gonna go for a counter counterattack instead and attack that pawn on b2. Well, I'm thinking if here, takes, takes, queen takes b2, takes, takes, and then we're also attacking this, so maybe, yeah. Or I could just go for queen takes b2 straight away. Okay, I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, their pawns are not looking so great. I think my pawns look better than their pawns. Okay, so they go for queen 2 here. So they don't really want to get into stuff they don't want to take here, so I might just go for rook d8. Maybe. Yeah, let's just bring the rook to the middle. Yeah, it's hard for both of us to make a plan here though. Because my main thing is I wish I could be pushing on this side of the board, but I can't really because of these knights here. So I have to maybe just try and find a way to get rid of the knights. 
They play queen d2 here because they wanted to defend the b2 pawn, I guess. Maybe they also want to push here at some point. I don't know. But they can't really push here because of my pressure on d4, so. Yeah, it's kind of hard for white to push many pawns, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure if I do want to take here because the problem is they're probably just going to take it with the rook. And I don't really know what I'm doing after that, so I don't want to like give up my bishop for nothing. But yeah, it might be good to take at some point. Yeah, I was thinking at some point about kicking them with the B pawn, but the problem is they've got the knight and the rook attacking my C pawn after that and becomes weak. But we do have plans of C5, so we'll see. I have to try and move my queen to somewhere where, because like say I go queen C7, right? Then I try and play B6 after that. They just play knight here probably, but then I would have queen here. Hmm, we'll see. Do you want to play C5? Okay, but our opponent does not want us to. Opponent is like, no, you're not playing C5. Never happening. I might go for a new approach here. Now b is played, I'm noticing that this pawn on a3 looks a little weaker, so maybe I move over this way and try and play a5. Now let's go rook here. Yeah, that's all right though. We're not worried about those knights. But yeah, th their attack on b7 is still quite annoying, so we'll have to work out how we're gonna defend that. Sometimes, if somebody's listening to your stream, it can actually kind of benefit you though, because they think your threats are like actually threatening something when they're really not. <laughs> you just say it with confidence. <laughs> Let's go bishop d6 now. Try and pressure this knight over here. The day I get to play b6 is the day I'm going to rejoice. Be very happy. Might bring a rook to b8 or something to defend b7. Because I want to play a5, but I'm just not really getting the chance. And I think it's because of this pawn on b7. Maybe we go rook b8 and we play this. Double up. And yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we can't play b6 yet, but we're dreaming of it. We're dreaming of it. Because here, here, here. I mean, there's just still so much pressure here. So I, I don't know if we can play it just yet, but we'll try. Here, here. Here, here. Hmm. Could go rook p8. f4. Okay, let's start with rook b8 and then play a5. Yeah, he was playing f4. That's what I was thinking they'd play. Okay, let's go for a5 now. Because now my plan is to attack on the only place that I can. Now, are we threatening this now? Is still this. Yeah, still not quite working, but we'll see. Maybe if we can take here. Maybe I'd have to take with queen and trade queens and make it the most boring game ever. Okay, surely now. Takes, takes. All right, I'm going to take here. Then I want takes, takes. Push. But I can't do that because of that. Hmm. This knight's very annoying. I could take here. Maybe I just try and bring my queen over to the king side. All right, let's rotate the queen over. I do maybe have a plan of getting my knight to b5 or something. That could be cool. But I feel like, you know, so what? I have a knight on b5 looking pretty. What is, what is it going to do? What if I go for like this? I guess maybe they want to bring their rook over. Is that the plan? I'm really trying to work out what their plan is. Maybe I just go for this though. That allows knight here. Taking probably isn't good. Yeah, I'm thinking about g5. Yeah, I know, the horses are causing me some trouble. Okay, I'm just gonna bring the rook back here for a minute and have a little think. Yeah, I'm not really sure. We'll analyze after and we'll see what might have been better for myself and for my opponent. But yeah, I might trade the rooks now and go for b6, which is something I've been wanting to play for a long time, but haven't really got the chance. But I feel like my opponent might just, you know, go for the trade over here. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to be a draw. Firstly, we are way up on the clock. Secondly, I think there's still some fun stuff to do here. I'm going to take here. And then I'm going to push. I want to kick their knight out. I don't know if I should just go for this, trying to trade. Or, or if I should try and go for this. Let's go queen b7 here. And okay, maybe we just go here now. The knight's actually trapped here in a funny way. Like this knight can't go there, there. 
And then we can go here, like forcing their queen to come in and then they pin themselves. This could be interesting. Oh, but now c5? Okay, I gotta think, takes, takes. I think c5 looks like it makes sense. Although then I can't ever get rid of the knight. Takes, takes. I think we gotta go for c5, we'll push. I mean, we can go for this plan, but at the moment there's not a lot. Okay. Ooh. A little freaky. Might just try and go for something like knight here and bring the knight to b7. See if we can just trade off at b8, sorry. We do have a little bit of pressure down here now that their king's on the same diagonal as our queen. So maybe we could try something like taking and playing um, playing e5 or something. Maybe that's a cool idea. Takes. But the thing is they might just take back with the pawn. But that gives them double pawns forever. That gets rid of my c pawn. Maybe I shouldn't commit to that. But our knight might come in handy. Maybe we go for this. Takes, takes. My queen here. Yeah, it's not, it's not working. What is my plan? Knight b8 can't be right. Can't be right. It's like the only thing I'm seeing. Let's start with moving our king out of the way, but I think I might have to play knight b8. Takes, takes. I'm worried about takes, takes, and then takes here, and then the b pawn is maybe good. I might go for this to start with, because I might try and create a pass pawn, but I want to make sure there's something defending it. Yeah, there's a lot. I am going to play knight b8 at some point, but I just want to try and do something to prepare it, because we do have this nice diagonal here. We've got the queen lined up with the king, and then maybe we trade off, play knight b8, something like that. But yeah, gotta work out the right order. Okay, let's take. I mean, now if they take back, their pawns will look quite split, so. Yeah, I know, there's potential discovery checks, which is what I'm thinking about. Hmm. Okay, so what they're wanting is mate here. We have to make sure we don't blunder that. You could just go for king uh, e8. With queen h8, bishop here. We could also go check here, check. That's also tempting. There's a lot thinking. I'm not sure if I like bringing my queen here because then they have ideas of queen h5 and doubling. So yeah. Here, here. And then they want to play something like rook here, so I'm not sure. But also just sack here. Queen h8, we've got bishop f8. And we're defending this. F6 was probably good. I don't know. F if F6 check here, they probably just have a perpetual, right? Maybe we do go for sacking here. I'm really thinking that I might want to just sack. Get rid of the knight. I'm going to go for it. They're not that low on time. There's a lot of increment. Yeah, I want to sack and then maybe we create a pass pawn. Because I think at some point we want to play e5 here. And getting rid of that knight and getting rid of this pawn on b5. Firstly, I like it because it gives us past pawns. Like we get the chance to just push forward like this and then suddenly we have a game. And yeah, also we can push pawns in the middle as well. Takes if queen h8, king f7. Could also go for f6. That probably is too dangerous though. Because like f6, then we get the chance to play e5, but mm, I might just go for taking. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for this. I was just a little worried about it. And our king can go on to f7, so I think it's, I think it's fine. Yeah, it gives them some chances, but I'm just thinking maybe we can go for something like knight f6 to h5. And then suddenly this pawn on g3 might be weak. And at some point, we're going to make this like e5 push useful as well. Um... Thing is, if I'm thinking about pushing a pawn here, but now f5 might have been better. It might have been better. But the thing I would say is the problem with it is that the reason the reason why I would play f6 is to keep everything closed so the queen can't get in. But if I play f5, then suddenly the queen can get in again. Like there's open squares around the king. So I'd only be really be playing this with two ideas in mind to close up everything and also to prepare this push e5 even more where my knight can come in with an outpost there. 
And f5 just leaves e6 quite weak. It looked wrong just because e6 is left weak. I mean, obviously I take here and e6 is weak, but then my king can quite easily defend by bringing the king to f7. But yeah, we'll see. I guess we'll find out. Because yeah, I have created a weakness, but here I'm taking a pawn for it, so. All right, queen h3 is played. So I think now I've got to play king f7. Make sure things are defend. Yeah, this knight is still in jail as well. This knight is in jail. So the rook's kind of tied down to defending it, because if they move the rook, then we have the move b5. I guess they're preparing a check over here. I'm going to go knight f6 and block thing. And then we can maybe bring our queen in like this way. We've got plenty of plans. We've also got the idea of c4. Okay, I thought here... So if I go here, they've got nowhere they can move the knight. They can't play something like this because I take and they're pinned. I'm going to go for this. But they can't come back there to defend it. That's the problem as well. I have a feeling I know what they might do, but we'll see. Yeah, there's definitely some potential ideas for my opponent, but let's see what they play. They've got 40 seconds. What's the idea of this? Okay. If I take here, they probably want takes here and check. Is that what they want? I don't think there's a perpetual, though. If there's a perpetual, well, they've calculated better than I have. Here, here, and bishop e7. But I have to be careful. Yeah, I'm thinking just king d7, bishop e7. And... Can we get anything here? Yeah, here we go. All right, and now we've got some pawns to push as well. Okay, they resigned. GG's, GG's. Let's quickly analyze and see, because I think that was a very boring game for a very long time, but I kind of, I think I bored my opponent to death, and then, um, oh, I had a brilliant move. Guys, I had a brilliant move in this game. I actually have no idea what it would be, but let's find out. Okay, so we're just playing theory here. My opponent steps out of theory for the first time. Okay, knight e7 first. I was just thinking, like, I didn't want knight h4, but is that bad? Oh, bishop g4? Yeah. Oh, bishop e6. Okay, this is not, like, crazy to see, but... Okay. Let's go back to the game. Shades, I just want to see... How long it was just like dead game for. So we do win that we do win the bishop pair, which is which is good. Now it's slightly better, but it's actually really hard to play here now. No real bad moves yet. Some like suboptimal moves. They really want my bishop on d6, and I guess that makes sense later when they get these clamp of knights coming in, and it would be nice if I could just take one of them and say goodbye. Okay, so b6 was oh. B6 was actually working here. Oh, because this is before I moved my queen, and now, like, if they say go back to b3, then we just have c5. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now I moved my queen here, and this was just bad. This stopped me from playing b6, and b6 was, like, my only plan there. But then I got into the problem, so I needed to play it right when the knight was moving there. Because if I try and play it a move later... Then the knight comes into b7, attacks my queen, and then they're attacking everything on c6. So it only works immediately, and I also blunder this, which thankfully my opponent didn't go for, but I thought it should be fine. I should be able to grab a couple of pawns over here. Like the actual eval here says like plus 0.9, so even though they're winning the exchange, it's not. I have compensation. My opponent didn't did miss that and instead plays queen d2 and suddenly it's equal again. So a lot of mistakes here in this part. They play b4. Okay, queen c7 was the move. So I guess it just wants me to come back and try and play for this idea of b6, which I didn't play for. Okay, but now I go back to c7. Yeah, b6 was just apparently working a lot of times. I thought that if now, yeah, okay, knight c6 is the move. And then if takes, Knight takes e6, queen d7, takes, takes, and we're down a pawn but slightly better. So yeah, we didn't go into that. Okay. 
Yes, when I see I'm losing material in a line, I usually say I don't want it. And we are still better here. Okay, after V6, it's good. And this is apparently a mistake here. I guess because the knight starts to get trapped here. Um, so we bring the queen over, they defend. Okay, they really wanted H5 as well. I guess to stop ideas of G4 and like, you know, stop them from using this, using this H file. So yeah, they play the only move that, you know, keeps their knight not dying there. And push. Okay, yeah, they really wanted h5, and my knight should have stayed over that side. Yeah, g4 becomes scary. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, so g4 was the best plan. I was trying to calculate this. Yeah, it takes here, and then after they go back. Oh, the idea is knight g8. So stop the checks. Okay. All right, the brilliant move was the rook stack. That's cool. Yes, I sacrificed the rook. And g6 was the best move, okay. Yeah, so they don't go for check. But now I defend here with king f7. And yeah, knight f6 was the best plan, so this is cool. Apparently I should have gone for c4 straight away. Oh, the idea is takes, and then we have a little check along here. Okay. Yeah, and then they go for the sacrifice, but it just doesn't work. Okay, cool game. There we go. I hope you guys enjoyed that rapid game, and I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know if you'd like me to do more of this stuff, or if you have any questions about it at all, just leave it in the comments, and I'll try and get back to all of those. See you next time. Bye!